On-site sewage treatment alternative waste systems. How does it work? Every day, every hour, and every minute, we use water. And by using water, we generate wastewater in our homes. But do you ever think where does your yesterday's lunch go? The moment we wash our hands, or waste flush down the toilet. It travels down in a lateral to a main pipe through the wastewater plant. Wastewater travels through miles of pipes before arriving at the plant from residential, industrial, and different commercial buildings throughout the city. If you ever wonder, where it goes and more importantly where it ends up we will attempt to answer that question by taking you through the entire process so future engineers sit back and learn with us on-site sewage treatment alternatives why is sewage treatment important effective sewage treatment prevents a variety of ailments that can be spread by exposure to pathogens present in untreated sewages. Discharge of untreated sewage can contaminate groundwaters and surface waters used for drinking, recreation, fish, and shellfish fisheries that may cause spread of disease through direct contact or indirect contact. Unit Operations The treatment of waste water depends upon the impurities present. The impurities present are physical, chemical, and biological. And accordingly, the treatment given are physical, chemical, and biological treatment. Here's a table of unit operations of sewage treatment. In the table, it includes the type of treatment, type of treatment unit, name of the units, and function type of impurity removed. Physical treatment. In above table, the screen, clarifiers, grid chamber are all in physical treatment unit because in all those units, the removal of impurities is taking place due to physical processes like gravity settling, mechanical straining, etc. Mechanical straining takes place in screens and gravity settlings takes place in clarifiers. Clarifiers are also known as sedimentation basin or settling tanks. Screen is a unit operation that separates large floating materials in and are on water from entering water treatment facilities and mains. Clarifiers are settling tanks built with mechanical means for continuous removal of solid being deposited by sedimentation. Great Chamber Long narrow tanks that are designed to slow down the flow so that solids such as sand, coffee grounds, and eggshells will settle out of the water. Chemical Treatment Chemical treatment of waste water is normally preferred when the waste water discharge is very small, like that produced by industries which contains chemicals. It takes place in units which are called reactors. Chemical treatment of industrial waste water can be achieved from one of the following methods. Chemical coagulation, chemical precipitation, oxidation and reduction, neutralization, and ion exchange. Ngayong tapos na nating pag-usapan kung ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng chemical treatment, dumako naman tayo sa mga uri nito. Una, Meron tayong tinatawag na chemical coagulation. Chemical coagulation is the chemical water treatment process used to remove solids from water by manipulating electrostatic charges of particles suspended in water. 
This process introduces small, highly charged molecules into water to destabilize the charges on particles, colloids, or oily materials in suspension. Sumunod ay ang chemical precipitation. Chemical precipitation is the change in form of materials dissolved in water into solid particles. Chemical precipitation is used to remove ionic constituents from water by the addition of counter ions to reduce the solubility. Next, we have the neutralization. Neutralization is employed to balance the excess acidity or alkalinity in water whereas flow equalization is a process of controlling flow velocity and flow composition. In practical sense, it is the adjustment of pH to achieve the desired treatment objective. Lastly, we have the ion exchange. Ion exchange is a water treatment method where one or more undesirable ionic contaminants are removed from water by exchange with another non-objectionable or less objectionable ionic substance. Let's proceed with the biological treatment. It fully utilizes the microorganisms for treatment of the wastewater. And depending upon the type of microbes used, the biological treatment is classified as the first one is the aerobic treatment using aerobic organisms. The example of the treatment units are activated sludge plant, trickling filter, rotating biological contractors, oxidation pads, and others. The second one is the anaerobic treatment. It uses the aerobic microbes. The example of anaerobic treatment units are sludge digesters. One biological treatment is the activated sludge. It refers to a multi-chamber reactor unit that makes use of highly concentrated microorganisms to degrade organics and remove nutrients from wastewater to produce a high-quality effluent. To maintain aerobic conditions and to keep the activated sludge suspended, a continuous and well-timed supply of oxygen is required. Next, we have the trickling filter. It is also called the trickling biofilter, biofilter, biological filter, and biological trickling filter. It is a fixed bed biological reactor that operates under aerobic conditions. Pre-settled wastewater is continuously trickled or sprayed over the filter. As the water migrates through the pores of the filter, organics are aerobically degraded by the biofilm covering the filter materials. Meron din tayong tinatawag na rotating biological contractors. It is also called the rotating biological filters and are fixed bed reactors consisting of stacks of rotating discs mounted in the horizontal shaft. They are partially submerged and rotated as wastewater flows through. Oxidation pend, also called as lagoons or stabilization pans. Shallow pans designed to treat wastewater through the interaction of sunlight, bacteria, and algae. Chemical treatment. Chemical treatment of wastewater is normally preferred when the wastewater discharge is very small, like that produced by industries which contains chemicals. It takes place in units which are called reactors. Chemical treatment of industrial wastewater can be achieved from one of the following methods. Chemical coagulation, Alternative on-site treatment Alternative on-site system can provide adequate treatment where public sewer are not available and where seating a conventional septic system would not be desirable due to inadequate available soils. A steep slope 
or other reasons. The wastewater entering the wastewater unit is called influent, and wastewater coming out from the treatment is called effluent. Fixed media filter systems distribute the primary effluent over a material or media that contains solid surfaces that can be populated by aerobic bacteria and other microorganisms. Void spaces within the media allow the movement of both effluent and atmospheric air, exposing the effluent, media surfaces, and resident microorganisms to atmospheric oxygen. Media filter system is essentially a watertight chamber containing a permeable media such as sand or pit that supports aerated secondary treatment. Sand-based treatment systems When using a mineral material such as sand as a filter, the distribution of size grades is important. Using materials such as ungraded sand that has many small pores can lead to clogging while materials with very large pores may not render adequate treatment. Pit-based treatment systems Pit systems are a type of fixed media filter and may be constructed to operate with either one through treatment or recirculation systems. Pit are partially decomposed plant materials extracted from water-saturated bags has been used successfully as a septic wastewater treatment medium in both commercials and non-commercial systems. Mound systems, also called as Wisconsin Mound, requires an area of suitable soil for construction. Soils that are unsuitable for conventional septic system due to shallowness, high water table, Low permeability or prior disturbance may be usable as an area for mound construction. On sloping sites, the mound is constructed in a long, narrow configuration following the contour of the land. Wetland systems can be constructed inexpensively relative to other wastewater treatment alternatives. However, the performance of wetland systems is generally less consistent than other on-site treatment alternatives. Septic wetland systems are usually constructed as shallow excavation or ditches that are typically 12 to 18 inches in depth and lines to prevent leakage. Suspended growth system, aerobic treatment units. Create an aerobic environment by circulating the microbes and effluent rapidly with atmospheric air, which contains oxygen, within a chamber using rapidly pumping air or its mechanical agitation. Aerobic treatment units, also called as package plants, are modular sewage treatment units that can be purchased through and installed by a commercial contractor. There are three ways on how to disinfect all systems, dechlorination, ozonation, and ultraviolet treatment. First is the chlorination. Chlorination is the most time-tested and easiest to operate of the three disinfection methods. The process is quite simple. The treated effluent is closed with chlorine prior to discharge. Chlorination is effective against a wide range of infectious organisms. Next is ozonation. Ozonation like chlorination. Ozonation kills pathogenic organisms by physical contact. The process operates via injection of ozone gas into the effluent. And last is the ultraviolet treatment. Ultraviolet treatment tend to be much simpler process. Technically, than either ozonation or chlorination, UV treatment exposes the effluent to UV radiation produced by a bulb-like device. Bulb must be replaced periodically because of the high power consumption. UV treatment can be expensive.